Hello everyone, I'm Chuck Barron. I'm on the lawn of Old Main, a signature landmark in the heart of the University of Arkansas campus. Today things are relatively quiet. The spring semester is concluded and the 2012 fall semester is still a few weeks away. But before we turn the page to a new academic year, let's look back at some great moments and learn more about some exceptional student athletes, coaches, and fans who made the 2011-2012 year one of the best in Razorback history. With more than 460 student athletes in 19 sports, the University of Arkansas's Department of Intercollegiate Athletics is more than just one of the nation's best all sports programs. It is a student-centered program, committed to assisting in the development of student athletes to their fullest potential through intercollegiate athletics. So how do you go about accomplishing a comprehensive student athlete experience? Well, it means helping our student athletes be the best athlete they can be, but then secondly, help them be the best student athlete they can be. So helping them address their student goals, they want their goal to get a degree. We've certainly focused what we're doing with our young people on graduation. And then finally, we're helping them to grow as a person. This is an important time in their lives for not only athletic and academic growth, but for personal growth, helping them to understand who they are and what they want to be when they leave the University of Arkansas. It all starts with academics. And in the past year, Razorback student athletes continued to make tremendous strides in the classroom. For the fourth consecutive year, the program's grade point average exceeded 3.0, on the way to setting a record GPA of 3.07. But perhaps the most noticeable progress has come in assisting student athletes in reaching their ultimate goal, graduation. In 2011-2012, 18 of 19 sports exceeded the NCAA's academic progress rate benchmark and combined for a program best average of more than 970. Two programs, gymnastics and men's tennis, were honored by the NCAA with a public recognition award and Razorback Athletics recorded the highest graduation success rate in program history. By the time the year was complete, 80 former and current Razorback student athletes earned their diplomas from the University of Arkansas. A goal accomplished thanks to the hard work and commitment of student athletes and an athletic program shift in academic goals. We've tried to take the focus away from just helping those student athletes remain eligible to helping those student athletes focus on a far greater goal and that's graduation. So we've changed our academic support program, not only to help those who are at the low end and need it the most, but also help each student athlete achieve their personal best. Another thing we've really been excited about is the implementation of a personal best philosophy. The thing that we can put across the board is this idea that as an individual, I should strive to get better. And so that allows er, uh, you know, students of all academic ability to feel great about their accomplishments. Razorback student athletes are responding. 134 earned their personal best term GPA last spring and continue on their academic path to graduation and their own place on historic senior walk. For Razorback student athletes, learning is not confined to a traditional classroom setting. The department's student athlete development program provides educational opportunities designed to benefit student athletes in a variety of disciplines. We cover the areas of um, leadership and you know, healthy lifestyles and career development. Um, and so those areas provide holistic programming. We're not here to just develop you in the classroom and on your respective playing fields. We want to cultivate what parents have been teaching them their whole time. You know, in our attempt to develop the whole student, the student athlete development piece is crucial. Community outreach has always been a staple of Arkansas's program, but in 2011-2012, Razorback student athletes took that commitment to a new level. After setting a record with 3,300 community service hours, Athletic Director Jeff Long set a goal of 4,000 hours for 2011-2012. From helping the residents of Joplin rebuild after a devastating tornado, to working with area children through programs like Book Hong, Sweat Hongs, and Razorback for a Day, Razorback student athletes met that goal in only seven months. 
and then went on to record more than 6,000 community service hours for more than 100 schools, charities, and organizations. The economic impact of the student-athlete's contribution to Northwest Arkansas and the region totaled more than $125,000. Arkansas has also led the way in leadership training. In 2010, the Razorback Leadership Academy became the first comprehensive leadership program in the Southeastern Conference. Expanded since its inception, the Leadership Academy now features specialized training for all student athletes, coaches, and administrative staff. Jeff said that the most important thing for our student athletes was leadership and decision making, and that that would not only impact their play on the field, where they could be extensions of the coaches, decision making and leadership impacts them in the classroom, impacts them in their social life, impacts them in the community. You know, we do our, our pre-test and a post-test at the end of the academy, and 94.4% of our student athletes said that they've increased their leadership based on what they learned over the year. Um, you know, with our leadership academy, we talk to our freshmen about beginning with the end in mind. Even at 18, what do you want your legacy to be when you leave here? For Jamie Paisani, it is a legacy that will include 13 All-America honors, academic All-American recognition, and a coveted NCAA postgraduate scholarship. They give you so many opportunities here, and I couldn't have been so successful without them. 2011-2012 yielded plenty of opportunities for athletic success, and Razorback teams took advantage. Arkansas finished 20th in the nation in the Director's Cup a year-long competition recognizing the nation's top intercollegiate athletic programs. Arkansas finished second among schools with 19 or fewer sports and earned its best Director's Cup finish since 1999. 15 of 19 Razorback sports advanced to postseason play, and five programs finished in the nation's top 10, including the Razorback football team, which capped a memorable 11-2 season with a 29-16 win over Kansas State in the AT&T Cotton Bowl. An SEC Triple Crown, a trip to the Super Six, and a date in Omaha were all part of what 2011-2012 had in store for Razorback fans. We believe that academics and athletics went hand in hand, and I think we've seen it as our student athletes have gotten better in the classroom, we're seeing them getting better on the playing fields as well. So I think two of those things, both of them coming together in this year for our best performances academically, as well as some of our best performances department-wide uh, athletically. So I think those things are happening for a reason. One of the most successful athletic years in school history was chronicled throughout the nation. Razorback teams made more than 100 national and regional television appearances and Arkansas was one of four schools featured on ESPN's Depth Chart series. But the true testament to the passion of the Razorback Nation is the more than one million fans that cheer on the Hogs in person at more than 200 Razorback sporting events throughout the state each year. In 2011-2012, the University of Arkansas was the only school in the country to rank in the top 25 of national attendance in football, men's basketball, and baseball. And whether it's at home or on the road, Razorback fans have a distinct way of letting their support be known. Oh, it's been amazing. I mean, as far as calling the Hogs go, you know, that's, it's, it's unique in itself. No one else does it. There's nothing like it anywhere across the country. But, uh, you know, when you do it at a, a home sporting event, or even on the road too, but especially at home, in a place like the Randall Tyson Track Center that, you know, hits capacity almost every time we have a big meet, it's, it's amazing. It's, it feels, to me as a track athlete, it feels like my Olympics almost. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. You know, we get the chills every time. Um, it's just so nice to have all those people coming to support us. And I know on alumni night in January, we had our record attendance and um, it, just, it just makes us so excited and it gets us really pumped up for our meets. And um, I think that helps us strive to win every time, you know, because they're all here cheering for us and they're so supportive. We have so many people um, just there for us, and that's just what makes it more exciting. The impact of that widespread support carries far beyond the national attendance rankings. Proceeds generated from ticket sales, combined with revenue from multimedia rights and sponsorships, television contracts, licensing royalties, conference revenue distribution, and donations 
allows Razorback Athletics to operate as one of only 22 financially self-sustaining athletic programs in the country. In December of 2011, Forbes named Arkansas as the eighth most valuable football program in the nation, citing the program's 59% growth in value in just two years. And although it does not receive state funding or a student athletic fee, Razorback Athletics remains deeply invested in the university community, providing annual support of campus initiatives, including $1.9 million in direct funding of academic programs. Supporting a nationally competitive all sports program requires exploring new revenue opportunities while maintaining the program's commitment to fiscal responsibility. We've worked very hard in the multimedia areas to bring in more money. We've increased our ticket prices in a reasonable way to bring in revenue. We've certainly increased the donations to our program, which is uh, vitally important to us. So we feel like we've had a multifaceted approach. We're attacking all those different revenue streams in a manner that doesn't focus just on ticket prices. So again, we've mined a lot of different areas, different revenue streams again put back into our program, grow our budget with the ultimate idea of competing with the top teams in this conference. Razorback Foundation members continue to play a pivotal role in supporting the more than 460 University of Arkansas student athletes. In 2011-2012, membership in the foundation rose to nearly 13,000 and annual fund support eclipsed $20 million for the first time. I could just go on for days about how strong the SEC is and you know I think the results speak for themselves but it's also attributed to the fan base and and the kind of you know donations they bring back to the university and just you know what these states down here are all about you know they're they're diehard sports fans and we got to put a good product out there on the field. The support of Razorback Foundation members is also helping the program build for the future. Last October the athletic department unveiled the Razorback Athletics Facilities Master Plan a long-term vision designed to help shape the future of Razorback Athletics. The $320 million plan provided preliminary concepts for new or renovated facilities for all 19 Razorback Athletic programs, including a football center. Arkansas broke ground on the football center in November, and construction is well underway. In fact, the Razorbacks will utilize their new practice fields this fall with full completion of the project set for the spring of 2013. The department is also moving forward with plans for a basketball practice facility, indoor baseball and track training facility, and a student athlete success center. In April, in recognition of Jeff Long's leadership, the Donald W. Reynolds Foundation and Chairman Fred W. Smith made a gift of $1.25 million for the Student Athlete Success Center, a new academic and dining facility that will serve all Razorback student athletes. In 2011-2012, Razorback Athletics set new standards in nearly every facet of its program. But if the past year is any indication, Razorback fans can expect even more moving forward. Well, we're, the future is bright, and we have not begun to reach our potential. We have tremendous p potential, really, in all phases of our athletic program. We talk about continuous improvement, and we've reached some goals, and we've reached some high record levels in our program in terms of revenue generation and academics and uh, wins and losses and things like that. But we have more to do. We have more to accomplish, the future is bright, and we will only get better if we continue to work our plan, continue to uh, seek the revenues we need to grow our program, and seek that fan support that's so critical to us. Here at Donald W. Reynolds Razorback Stadium, preparations are already underway for another season, and soon over 72,000 fans will be calling the Hogs. It truly is an exciting time to be a Razorback. Thanks for joining us. And until next time, go Hogs!